We bought a dumpy looking 1983 XR350R and turned it from this to this. The reason we liked this one was because it actually ran pretty well, it just needed a lot of TLC cosmetic. So Pop stripped it down to the frame, cleaned, sanded, treated, polished or painted every nut and bolt on the bike. We didn't get a whole lot of footage of this build, but I'm scrapping together what we do have. This build was from a couple years ago and it's still one of my favorites that we've done. The bike was being built for racing vintage motocross, so we removed the headlights and everything else unnecessary for racing and we ended up losing quite a bit of weight on the bike. We gave it a top end rebuild with new rings, hot cam, oil seals, and then we cranked up the horsepower with an XRs only competition super trap exhaust that was developed by the 2004 best in the desert four stroke champions. For the seat, I happen to have a leather shop and even though upholstery and vinyl is not my forte, I've been able to manage a few seat covers that turn out pretty well. So then I stitched it up, trimmed it up a bit, and then fit it over the foam. Luckily the seat pan is plastic so we can use the staple gun. Some of the older vintage bikes have a metal pan and it's a huge pain to install a new cover. We mounted a metal tank, vintage fenders, and even modified the seat pan and foam a little bit to give it more of a 1970s look. So we mounted the seat and finished up some of the other fun finishing touches and then we took it to the studio for some final shots before we get it dirty. And bam, it's done. My dad and I have worked on and built quite a few bikes, especially if you count everything he's done since he was a teenager, but this one will always hold a pretty special place in our hearts because it was the bike that launched us into our business and got us back into racing again. Not to mention, it's a tribute to the Honda XR that Pops had converted into an MX bike back in 1979. You can read more about that story or learn more about our bikes on our website down in the description. We were lucky to have this bike featured by BikeBound.com. We'll post a link to their article in the description as well. You should check that out. The only thing left now is to get it dirty.